Hello, right, I've been running this for um, about half an hour, 25 miles, and I don't know if you can see, but I've blown a fuse. That's a 20 amp fuse as well, so bugger. Right, okay, I've got a temporary solution in place now. Uh, as you can see, I've wired the amp meter up inside my van. So, and I've also bypassed the fuse, so that there's no fuse in the line at all. It's coming straight from the battery through this wire, through the switch, through the amp meter, and back out to the cell, which is under the bonnet. Um, and so I, all I've got to do is just keep checking the amps, make sure it's not going too high. If it does, I'll be switching it off manually. Because uh, this is this wire is rated up to 27 amps, so I don't want to be going more than 25, really. So but I'm going to try and keep it below 20. If it does, I don't want it. I don't want it going too far over. Um, yeah, so that that's the new temporary uh, arrangement so we'll see what the MPG rate is like at the end of the day hello right I've just turned the engine on and we'll have a quick look to see what the amps are like at the moment oh so that's all 24 24 amps so I think what I'm going to do is, is take the cell out and water the electrolyte down a bit. Right, I'm in my cab now. Um, I changed, well I watered the uh, electrolyte down a bit. So now I just turned it on and tested it and it was just reading 16. 16 amps, so uh, if it can hold around there that would be great. Um, I did notice one thing though, as I took it out I had a look at the bottom of the uh, plates and they're not being held in now to get like, in, the, in the right place, you know the, the spacing is uneven all inside so you know the, the outside acrylic is holding together but uh, it's not keeping the plates in the right place, it's not holding them. So they're going all over the place. Anyway, I'll, I'll leave it, I'll put it back in there for now, and I'm going to watch the amp meter carefully. Uh, you know, if it goes too high, then, then I'll switch it off. But for now, it stays as it is, and I'll video the. I'll video the plates for you later. Huh, right. I heard a pop from inside my cab when I was driving. And I've come out and uh, this is all cracked, so I don't know what caused it. But so it's exploded, didn't it? Right, so I've got it out the uh, van now. You can see the split goes across here and around this corner here. So there must have been a spark inside the chamber because the bubble is fine. Right, let's undo it and see. Right, so the first thing you notice is the plate. It's all come out. Another thing, it's all wobbly. It's not stable, it's... So no wonder something sparked somewhere.
Oh, goodness sake. Right, well. Back to the drawing board. Look at the end of these machine screws. They've all gone a, 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 a darker colour. 